being compared to all young and, and Fallon and Tini, I mean, they're artists that I really admire and um, we wanted to do something completely different. So a mixture of all them guys put together um, kind of gave us what we've got. So really, really chuffed with that um, and really happy with the single. The single's a great indicator of what the album's going to be like. Um, I wanted this, the album to be really personal and really feel good and um, I think the first single completely gives exactly what the album's going to give and that's just a real feel good factor and also you know, you're going to get the ballads on there, you're going to get a few, a few sad songs on there but um, a lot of it's up tempo and, and feel good and uh, that's what I wanted. I mean of course when I, when the, when I was on the X Factor I, was, I wanted to win, you know, I was there to win and um, you know, Joe did win and, and fair play to him, he, he did really really well so of course I was gutted but I think now, I mean, looking at I'm really actually really chuffed that I came second because of what's what's happened and um, I've got a fantastic team. The fact that you know the album's going to be really personal as well so it's going to be more me and I think that's important. If anything he's the guy that put me where I am so and he really believed in me, he was there every every day I was there, he was always there if, if we needed to phone him because obviously he wasn't there every day with us but when we needed him he could, we could give him a call. And when he was there, he was great. He just gave it, and he was really honest as well. And I think that's the most important thing. I don't like people who just want to blow smoke and say, "Yeah, you're great. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant." Yeah, you know, he was just always, mm, "I don't like it. We need to change this. We need to change that. We need to make this right. We need this this change." And when he did do that, it, everyone hates to say it, but he's always right. <laughs> no joke. He's always right. Oh, JLS being on the same label, of course I would love to collaborate with them at some point. It'd um, be brilliant, it'd be such good fun. We have a right laugh. We're trying to sort out a dance off at the moment between myself and them, but it was kind of a joke at first. But then I thought, oh, then I think they were taking it quite seriously. They're just great lads to be around. And I mean, if in the future, if something come up like that, then I'd, I'd jump at the chance to do it. The weirdest story I've ever heard about me in the press was when um, a girl did a kiss and tell. And she said, completely lie, that I walked around in her bedroom with my pants on, I think they were like leopard skin or something, and I was singing Superstition. That was complete load of rubbish. One of the most embarrassing things I do that's happened to me on stage is actually one of my worst habits, regardless of being on stage or not, is when I come out of the toilet and I forgot to do my flies up, and I went on stage and had my flies undone. So halfway through the song, like, very superstitious. <sighs> yeah, that's the worst moment. Best gig I've ever been to was Justified uh, tour with Justin Timberlake. Um, I wasn't too sure what to expect. It was one of my first ones I went to. I mean, the, I mean, all the festivals I've been to have been amazing, but as a just a solid artist gig, um, Justin Timberlake, he was unbelievable. As soon as I watched him, I was like, wouldn't I have loved to do what he's doing? But my first single that I ever bought, and this is really embarrassing, was 911. And it was, party people, hey, it's Friday night. And I learned all the lyrics. Come forget Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, hey, it's Friday night. 